with our equation in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. We are going to show the effect of m, the slope, on the line on the graph. The effect of m is to rotate the line with the center of rotation being the y-intercept. In these examples, we keep b constant. B, the y-intercept, is 2. So our lines will always go through the point 0, 2 on the graph. In the first equation, the slope m is 1. A line with a slope of 1 forms a 45 degree angle with the x-axis. This is line 1 on the graph. If we double the slope in equation 2, m is equal to 2. This will cause the line to rotate so that it forms an angle halfway between the original line and the y-axis. While still going through the same y-intercept. If we double the slope again, as in equation 3, m is now 4. This again cuts the distance between the line and the y-axis in half. As we increase the size of the slope m, the line tilts more and more towards the vertical without actually becoming vertical. A vertical line has an undefined slope. And then, once we tilt past the y-axis, our line starts to have a negative slope. Equation 4 is an example of that. It has a slope m of negative 1. So it will again form a 45 degree angle with the x-axis. But tilted in the other direction. This illustrates that as we change m, we are rotating our line with the y-intercept as the point of rotation. Now we are going to look at what happens when we change our b, our y-intercept, without changing m, the slope. In equation 1, 2, and 3, the m equals 1 in all cases. But the y-intercept b is changing from 2 to 4 to 6. The effect of b is not a rotation, but a vertical translation of the line along the y-axis. Equation 1, y equals x plus 2, has a slope of 1, so we'll form a 45 degree angle with the x-axis, and goes through the y-intercept 0, 2. So here is equation 1. Equation 2 has the same slope, but the y-intercept has changed to 4. We are going to get a line with the same angle, which goes through 4 on the y-axis instead. And the third equation, y equals x plus 6 will give us a 45 degree angle line with respect to the x-axis which goes through 6 on the y-axis. And we can see that the effect of the b in y equals mx plus b is a vertical translation of the line up and down the y-axis. <laughs>